Hey guys, long time no talk, I know, right? Um, but let's get straight down to business. Today I have my top 11 beauty products of 2011. Since tomorrow is New Year's Eve, and then the day after that is 2012, what? Okay, seriously, 2011 went by so fast. Like, it was just last year that we had a New Year's Eve that was like 50 degrees. And we might have that again. So, let's get started. First product. Um, oh, and also I just want to say, I tried so very hard to um, remember back into like early January, February, March, April for what products I was using then. I, I think I have a pretty good mix of like now through, I mean the beginning of the year to now. So, But these are just the ones that really stand out and that I will continue to use probably next year also. So. Without further ado, let's get started. First one is Urban Decay Primer Potion. Now, I don't know one person who doesn't like this. Okay, and as you see, mine's like, the stuff is coming off. Like, it's just coming off. Oh, that's probably what always gets on my makeup. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, I love this stuff. It's the best primer I've ever had. I don't even use another primer. This is the only primer I have. Oh, and my paint pots. But I usually put my paint pots over this. Um, so this is Urban Decay Primer Potion, and it's the best primer ever, and I will probably continue, oh, just so you know, it's in Eden. Um, I will probably continue to use this next year, and the year after that, and the year after that, and the year after that. Next, speaking of, a paint pot, Rubenesque. I am obsessed with paint pots. Okay, I have like 20 of them. Just kidding. I have like five. Um, but this is Rubenesque. Now, um, this actually also goes along with this my um, MAC palette that I have in my little e.l.f. palette, but it's MAC, <laughs> and it is these three colors right here. All That Glitters, Mulch, and Soba. Those three colors and this I've pretty much been wearing. Okay, this was a hard one because it was either between my MAC palette, this, or my NYX palette. Do you guys remember that one? <laughs> um, if you'd watched me earlier this year. But I figured out that I'm actually wearing the look today. Huh, interesting. Um, I figured out that my next one was more my spring look, and this one was more my fall look. And so these two, I would just, um, because I still wear this one, and I probably will even next year, so I just decided to use this instead. So yeah, these two together, and then like paint pots in general. <laughs> next is a brush, and it is my MAC 217. Just kidding, it's my MAC 239. <laughs> um, and I use, it's really dirty because I just used it this morning, but um, this is literally the best, best eyeshader brush I've ever had. Like, I think I'm going to get another one of these and have two of them because I love them so much. But, um, yeah, I use this, I don't remember where I got it, I think it was earlier this year. And I just, I always use it. In fact, I get scared to use it because I don't want to ruin it because it was like kind of expensive. And so I like, I limit myself to how much I use it. But every time that I can and like feel like I should, like if, yeah. So I do, and I love it. Okay, now let's move on to face products. So the first one is, and if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know that this is, like, this should actually have been number one because I love this. I, like, I love it. Okay, and it is my MSF Natural. I'm in the shade Medium. This is actually new. My friend got it for me for Christmas, which was super nice of her. She got me a bunch of uh, MAC stuff, which I'm super thankful for of her for, but I got her Ugg boots, so it's okay. Um, so yeah, my MSF Natural is the best face powder I've ever, ever, ever used in my life. Because it is so light and like... Oh, I can't even describe it. Go buy it. It's kind of pricey. That's why there was a time that I didn't have it, and I was so sad. There was a time that I didn't have it, and that's why she got it for me for Christmas, because I needed it. I need it. But, like, I'm, I'm never going to live without this. I'm always going to use this. Always. Next is the foundation, and this was actually more of something that I used over the summer, because it was, it was also very expensive, and so I don't want to use it all up, and it's really, it's, I got it for the summer, so it is my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus Foundation. And this is oil-free and water-resistant, so as you can see, I used it during the summer. And, oh shoot, oh, I thought it was drying up. I was like, oh my goodness, no. Um, but yeah, 
as you can see, it's like a really small bottle, and it was really expensive, and so I'm, I'm saving it for the summer because I use it when I go swimming, and when I when it's really hot and I'm sweating. Ew! Um, but yeah, so I, but this was my favorite during the summer, and I will use it again next summer. This is a concealer. I'm kind of like, I don't know, I feel like it's one of each product, you know? And this is MAC Long, Pro Longwear Concealer. And I've talked about this before also, um, but I really love this. This is pretty much my everyday concealer still. Like, I don't really change up my concealers. And look, I use it every day, and it's only that much gone. Like right there. So I still have all that. But um, I don't use a lot. I just use it. I don't use it to... Um, I mean, I don't, I don't use a lot. And when you pump it out, it pumps out kind of a lot. I just pump it on my hand, like right there. And it comes out kind of a lot. So I just use as little as I want. And then, this is, might be kind of gross, but then I take the rest off and just put it right back out here so I can use it next time. <laughs> and it's worked pretty good. So, um, yeah, so I love this concealer. Definitely been a favorite. And lastly, a blush. And this was also a blush that I used more in the spring and summer, but. Um, I, I even I used it as long as I could before I was like, okay, it's time to start wearing darker blush. Um, and it is my Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush in Peach Satin. Looks like that. It's so beautiful. Right now I'm using Rose Petal because it's a little bit darker, but I wish I could just use this year-round because I love it so much. Okay, then I have two lip products. Well, I have one lip product, but it's the same thing. So, And that is my U.S. Lip Balms! Look at this one, guys compared to this one. This is my older one. Yes, I love these lip balms. I use it pretty much every morning and every night. Um, and this is I just got because this one was running out. Um, but yeah, I love these. I've definitely been using these. Like, I'm pretty sure this has lasted pretty much all year. So. That's awesome, and they're just so moisturizing, and they smell nice, and yeah, so I love my, whoa, whoa, this is one nail product. Now, I was thinking, should I include nail polish, but then I was like, no, that would be way too much, that would take up all 11 products. So I just included one nail product, and it's not a nail polish, it's actually my Nail Life Aromatherapy Drop-On Polish Dryer. I got this from Sally's Beauty Supply, and I remember, I've literally used this all year, because I remember last year on New Year's Eve, I did my nails with my cousin and my friend, and um, we all used this and we all loved it, and I remember that from last year, and I remember the polish I used and everything, which is kind of weird, but um, yeah, so I've used this all year, and this is my second bottle, so I really love this stuff, like this is my favorite, um, I think this actually should be number one because I literally used it all year. I use this every time I paint my nails, which is a lot. And then for my last product, it's a perfume, and it is my Avril Lavigne Black Star Perfume, which looks like this. And I'm almost out. I'm going to need to get another one of these. But yeah, this smells so good. I pretty much wear this every, finger, every single day. I don't even know what I was trying to say. Um... So yeah, that's the perfume. I have been using that perfume all year because I remember I got it, was it two years ago or last year? Actually, I think I got that two years ago for Christmas and I just have been using it ever since. Um, but I need to get a new one because I'm almost out. And if I continue using it like I do, I will be out soon. Okay, so that was my top 11 beauty products of 2011. I can't wait to do 12 next year. Um, and so hope you all have a great New Year's Eve and a great New Year. And um, I guess we'll just end this and say leave a comment below and subscribe up top. And I'll see you guys later. Happy New Year.